Hey Gemini, so it's me Alexis. Welcome back to my astrology channel and today I'm going to be giving you guys a horoscope and tarot reading for the new moon in Libra on September 28th. So um, yeah, before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys watching my channel and liking my content because wow, there's people out there who actually like my stuff. And um, yeah, if you guys like my content, please subscribe to my channel and like um, this video and give it a thumbs up. And yeah, if you are a Gemini Sun or Rising, this video will apply for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Gemini, let me talk about what's going on in the universe right now. So um, the new moon is going to be in, in five degrees Libra. And the one notable thing I do want to talk about is that the transiting Mercury and Venus will be squared to the transiting Pluto. And I want to focus on Venus in particular because Venus will be the ruling planet of Libra, which will kind of affect this new moon. And um, yeah, it's, there's going to be some kind of upheaval or some sort of like, you know, I think of upheaval when I think of Pluto or like some sort of like, you know, I guess transformation is one way to put it. But like, um, yeah, that's that's what's going on at the moment. And Gemini, how will this personally affect you? So Gemini, this new moon is going to be happening in Libra and that is going to fall in your fifth house. And then the transiting Pluto is going to be in your eighth house. So Gemini, Libra is the sign of you know fairness, the sign of connection, the sign of socializing, relationships, stuff like that. You know, it's also the sign of fairness. It's also the sign of justice all that type of stuff. And Gemini, when it comes to your fifth house, the fifth house is the house of creativity, it's the house of hobbies, you know, casual dating, you know, sex, you know, all the fun stuff. When I think of the fifth house, I think of like a bounce house. I mean, children are covered in the fifth house, okay? So I think of that. And then the eighth house, which is where Pluto is transiting, is the house of taxes and death. And how I personally like to see the eighth house is that the eighth house is kind of, you know, it answers the questions of, you know, how do you stand your ground with other people? So kind of like your, your stability against other people. So like debts and like taxes is one way to kind of, you know, physically look at it. In a psychological way, I think of like power struggles. So Gemini, as of right now, you know, the fifth house is the house of creativity and the house of, you know, hobbies and fun. And this new, this new moon in Libra could be a great time for you guys just because, you know, this is a time for you to really, you know, connect with other people when it comes to hobbies. When I kind of looked at, you know, this new moon, I kind of thought, wow, it would be kind of great if you guys, you know, went out and tried a new hobby or went out to socialize with one of your hobbies and you made new friendships and connections with that specific hobby. So like personally, um, I play Super Smash Bros competitively and like one of the few things I like to do is, you know, go out to tournaments and play against certain people and then, you know, make new friends in the community and we all like playing Smash. So like Gemini, you know, think about that one hobby that you have and especially about, you know, the one hobby that you don't really tell people about. And, you know, with Libra Bill in your fifth house, you know, maybe that's something rare for you, but, you know, I think this is a good time for you to kind of connect with other people when it comes to your hobbies and kind of think like, okay, you know, I like knitting. Who else likes knitting? Who can I, who else can I talk about, you know, the joys of knitting, for example? And then, you know, from there you can make new connections and because you can make new connections, you can even enjoy your life even more. So like, that is something that I thought about Gemini. Um, however, though, I mean, I'm not going to ignore the tension that is going on between Venus and Pluto. Um, on this day, um, Venus will be in a three degree square to Pluto. I get, it might get tighter as time goes on. I didn't check that far. But um, with that tension, it's between the fifth house and the eighth house. And I would say that the one thing you may need to watch out for is, you know, depending on this hobby, you know, especially if it's a competitive hobby, you know, or a hobby that's competitive in nature. You know, do be careful of the new connections you may make with people if you go out of your way to kind of, you know, see other people. Because yeah, you could have a lot of fun, but you know, sometimes when it comes to enjoying yourself and other people, you know, this, you know, the whole tension of like power struggles could be a thing if not everybody having fun is a person of stability. Because when people don't feel stable, they will try to kind of, you know, put you down because they already are put down and they want to equalize that. And, you know, that's not cool. And you may come across people who could be like that. And because of that, you know, with that eighth house, fifth house thing going on, like, do be careful of people who may want to undermine you or people who underestimate you because, you know, I mean, Gemini tends to be underestimated all the time, and you know what happens to that. 
So, um, yeah, Gemini, that's pretty much the astrological portrait that I got for you. Um, let's go ahead and see what the cards say. Okay. Oh my god, it's like my, it's like my cards read my mind or something. So, um, let me show you the cards that I got. I got the chariot. I got the king of swords. And I got the king of coins. So, in the perspective of this whole thing, you know, Gemini, I'm pretty sure this is you. You are the chariot. You are gaining control. You are gaining power. You are taking the reins of your life, literally, and you are running with it. You have the power. Good for you, Gemini. However, there may be a few people in your life who can feel a little bit threatened by that. They're kind of like, uh, I don't know if I like that. I got the King of Swords and then I got the King of Coins reversed. So I don't know who this person is. I mean, I mean, I don't know if this will apply for everybody, but like in terms of like hobbies in that perspective, maybe you're really good at a certain hobby. Like let's let's put up, let's put back that analogy with knitting. Let's just say that you're really good at knitting, but then you know, the person who's in charge of the knitting club feels threatened that you're good at knitting and they will verbally put you down and they will verbally put you down because they're not really secure in themselves. Um, the fifth house is also the house of like romantic relationships and like, you know, the early stages of a relationship. And, you know, maybe at this point, you know, you're gaining control of your life and you're really just, you know, doing your own business. But like, maybe, you know, this is a partner. Maybe this is someone who is kind of threatened by the fact that you are empowering yourself and they're trying to put you down by giving you seemingly rational and logical rules and standards that are supposedly helpful for you. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're just really insecure and <laughs> they don't want you to do that. So, um... So that's kind of another way that I thought about it. The overall energy for this spread is that, you know, you're doing well for yourself, but like some people are not happy that you're doing well. And because of that, you have to, you know, time your reins even harder and be like, hey, you know, I am I know what I'm doing. I'm doing well. You know, you don't have to like that I'm doing well, but, you know, be honest, you know, at least at least tell me that like I'm not doing well. Uh, or I'm, I'm, you know, at least tell me that you don't like that. Because I feel like this whole spread to me kind of shows like a sense of threatening to an authority. And it's weird because like it's the 8th house, like the 8th house thing is very, very prominent in here. But you know, in terms of the 5th house, like, you know, I feel like some people may want you to be a certain way. And I think with your creativity and like your sense of joy and whatever makes you happy, there's some people out there that are kind of like, I don't want you to be like that. <laughs> like, for example, like, you know, even in terms of, like, creativity, so, like, if you're an artist or something, and maybe you finally, you know, have a very strong grasp of, like, of your creative direction, some people may not like that direction. They'll try to tell you that, like, it's rationally wrong or it doesn't make sense and, like, you shouldn't do it, and, like, they'll try to implement a bunch of rules on you, and then they are coming with that from a sense of insecurity. So, Gemini, I think my message for you is, you know, keep on doing you. You can't stop people from being jealous of you. You can't stop people feeling threatened by, you know, your sense of power. Because, Gemini, you're not really trying to be, you know, the authority here. You're just trying to be the authority of yourself. And, you know, the thing about authorities is that if they have to rely so hard on being an authority for other people... They're not really an authority at all because that just demonstrates how they lack control. And Gemini, I think you're in the one, you're the one in control right now. And I think that scares some people and they should stay scared. And you know, with this new moon in Libra, it'd be a good chance for you guys to kind of implement that new sense of fairness. I think with you, you know, being the chariot card, you're finally putting your feet down and being like, hey, you know, when it comes to fairness, fairness is a two way street. I'm going to be fair to myself and of course, looking at this some people are kind of threatened by it and you know gemini i think fairness is very important for you because you know to implement that fairness and justice i think that is what will ultimately make you very happy and i want you to be happy gemini so um yeah gemini thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video resonates with you and i hope you guys have a great new moon